I keep seeing these articles that recommend frameworks and page builder themes in the same article as if they're the same thing. And if you're like me and you're interested in finding the best and fastest ways of building a great website, there's a big difference between frameworks and page builder themes. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com and it's my mission to help you find the best and easiest ways of building great websites. I support this channel through sponsored links. I've included a sponsored link to the Divi theme and a standard link to the Genesis theme in the description below. So in this video, I'm going to look at the difference between a WordPress framework and a WordPress page builder theme. We're going to look at two popular WordPress themes, the Genesis framework and the Divi theme. I want to start off by saying that I think both of these are very high quality products, but they're both intended for very different kinds of people. This is a definitely an apples and oranges comparison, but if you don't know what the difference is, I think that you will find this video really helpful. Let's start by looking at the Genesis framework. What is the Genesis framework and who is it for? The Genesis framework is a shortcut to building a theme for WordPress. The job of a WordPress theme is to visually display the pages and posts that you create inside of WordPress. All of the pages and posts that you create in WordPress are actually stored inside of a database, and a theme gives a look and style to those database entries and makes them easy and enjoyable to read. All WordPress themes need a lot of the same things, like a header area, menu, a special page to display a list of all of your blog posts, and the layouts and stylings for all of your pages. What a framework like the Genesis framework is, it's a well thought out starting point to build a theme that already includes all of the basic things that a WordPress theme needs. The idea is that you'll use the Genesis framework as a starting point to start coding the look and styling of the rest of your site. So if you're a web developer, this saves you a massive amount of time from having to write the code for all of the basic functions of a WordPress theme. A framework like Genesis framework is a shortcut so that you don't have to code an entire theme from scratch but you can start from a developed platform or framework. With Genesis, you can get even more help in styling your site by purchasing additional child themes that offer various different pre-coded styles. All of these are starting points for someone who is good at code and designing pages and sites using code so that they don't have to start from the very beginning writing all of the code that we would need to create a WordPress theme. But if you aren't comfortable with coding your website, building and designing a website with a framework isn't gonna be easy and that's because it's a helpful tool and a shortcut for people who are comfortable with and know how to code. So now let's look at the Divi theme and what a WordPress page builder is. You can look at the Divi theme and most WordPress page builder themes as a piece of software that helps you design and create your site by writing the code for you. Page builder themes are a massive library of code that you access like building blocks to build and design your website and your web pages. To build and design your pages with a page builder theme, you click drag, drop, and use settings to make your site. With a good page builder theme like Divi, you can create just about any kind of website and all without having to know any code. A good page builder also includes a lot of built-in functionality. For example, with the Divi theme, there's a module for an email opt-in form so you can capture the email addresses of your visitors. There's a pricing table module, slider module, and a bunch of other really useful features. Another thing that I hear about page builders versus frameworks is that because page builder themes have a much larger theme file size, that they must create websites that are slower than using a framework, which has a much smaller file size. In my test, I found this to be absolutely untrue. I built the same site using the same content in both Genesis with a Genesis child theme and the Divi theme and another page builder theme of beta. And I found that actually the page load times of all three were very close. Some did better in certain areas than others, but overall the results were about the same. And then I did another test using Genesis where I added a page builder plugin to it and I used that plugin to build the same page as in the previous tests. And you would think that because I was adding a larger plugin file to Genesis, and building a page with an easy to use page builder that the page would load slower. Well again, that was absolutely untrue. What I found was that the page actually loaded faster because the page builder theme did a great job of writing the code for me and keeping the page code compact and easy for viewers to load. So you cannot tell by the theme file size how fast a theme or plugin is. It's all about the end results and not the theme or plugin file size. So each of these two types of WordPress themes 
frameworks, and page builders have their purposes. They're both very powerful tools, but ultimately they're designed for two very different types of end users. If you're an awesome coder and have a clear idea of the kind of website that you wanna make, and you wanna just dive in and start coding and making all the changes to your website, but you don't wanna start from the very beginning, you can get a WordPress framework like Genesis. And if you don't know how to code, but still wanna make an amazing website, you can choose a WordPress page builder theme like Divi. It would allow you to style your website and build your pages just by clicking, dragging, and using settings. If you already have the Genesis theme, but are looking for an easier way to use it, I've got a video that will show you how to use a page builder plugin with Genesis. I don't think that this is a perfect solution, but it is a great way to make building pages with Genesis much easier. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you're looking for the right theme to build your next website quickly and easily, check out some of my theme reviews and visit me at realwebsitehints.com slash best website for my top recommendations. If you want a little help building your next website, check out some of my online courses where I'll walk you through the whole process of building a quality website quickly and easily. Thanks for watching.